what makes it more important for us as children workers or even parents to bring all this variety into the class. Yeah, so it's great again to be here. This is Pedion Foundation. And this time we are doing a video about activities and we call it bringing your class to life. Yeah, but there are various things that you can do that can bring your class to life. I don't know Anne, what are some of the things that you can do to bring light into your class. You can include a variety of things. You can have songs, you can have uh, games, you can have object lessons. There are many things that you can do to make your life uh, your class lively. Ah, nice. Yeah. And I guess we'll be talking about some of these things today. Yes, we will. Wow, so I look forward to it. I think it'll be exciting. But I want us to start from first understanding why is it that you have to keep having visuals, then you are doing songs. I mean, why can't you make it just like regular church where a pastor goes in front of church and just shares the message and then you go home? What makes it more important for us as children workers or even parents to bring all this variety into the class? Okay, there's the aspect of uh, ensuring, first of all, that there's no boredom in class. Mm. Since you have children, mm. uh, you want your children to be excited mm. for your classes and mm -hmm. for uh, Bible time or just time for, for God mm. should be fun and exciting. Yeah, sure. uh, also, there's the retaining of the attention of the child. You want that child to be attentive and want to hear what is it that you're, you're saying. So that also is very important. And that's why you need the colorful things to bring life to the lesson and to ensure that the children in your class are excited and are curious as to what you're going to share with them. Ah, wow, great. And I remember um, going for a certain class and I was told that there are different kinds of learners. Yeah, that there are learners who learn in a certain way and others. And I think they were given three words. So there's the kinesthetic learner, there's the auditory learner, and there's the visual learner. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, the auditory learner, I think, uh, is the one who learns by hearing. Yes. And so when someone lectures or just goes in front and speaks, they are able to pick first. There is a visual learner who, besides listening, they need to see something and relate what the teacher is teaching with what 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 is being seen. So they are more visual. The kinesthetic learner just doesn't learn by seeing and hearing, but they also want to touch, to feel, to to participate in the lesson in one way or another. And so I think as we are using all these varieties, be it songs, you're using visuals, you're singing a song, you're using drama, you're using a review game. All these help us to capture the different kinds of learners so that everybody, in spite of how you're able to learn, you're at least covered in one of these activities. Uh, that's very true, actually, because if you plan your lesson in such a way that all these learners are taken care of, mm. you ensure that the retention of what you have, you're teaching them is greater. 